Hi guys, it's Sophie. So I thought I would come and film in the garden for you because my washing machine is being very loud um, and also the lights are quite nice out here and it's a bit dark inside so I thought this would be easier. Um, I'm going to be doing a book haul with you guys today, just showing you what I've bought recently. I bought a fair few books today um, and yeah, this one I've added in so I have a little bit bigger TBR after today. Um, yeah, let's get straight into it. So the first one I have is the one I've started. I started it last night or the night before and that is Don't Touch My Hair by Emma de Berry um, and this is a book, non-fiction book, talking about black women's hair and the historical context of black women's hair and just basically just all about hair like why does it take time to put together, what, what do the hairstyles mean, how old are they, um, a lot about the historical context of how black ladies hair has been treated. I'm bringing you in just a little bit closer um, because I don't know how loud the wind is going to be. Um, but the next one I have is Trick Mirror by Gila, Gila Tolentier um, and this is an essay collection, it's Zadie Smith and Rebecca Solnit have said they liked it on the back so I am so sold, um, I pre-ordered this one, I haven't pre-ordered a book in ages. So this is a collection of essays about basically like the modern times we live in, the effect they have on us. Um, it says in here she's talking about that she was on reality TV when she was a teenager, talking about taking ecstasy and having religious ecstasy, um, our desire for self optimization It's just basically a collection of essays on things that are happening in the world today and I'm really excited for it. Lots of camera moves, I apologise. Um, the next one I have is The Uninhabitable Earth by David Wallace Wells, um, which is in the same collection, the same publishing house, Alan Lane, as Don't Touch My Hair and I really like the style of them. Um, this is a story about like what happens to the earth at the moment because of climate change and what will happen to the earth um, and it's like quite no holds barred, I think. So it's talking about not just like what could happen in future but what's already happened and what we don't necessarily know about what's already happened. I'm really looking forward to reading this one. I've really enjoyed reading more about climate change recently and yeah, just excited to get into this one as well. Next one I picked up is The Heartland, um, Finding and Losing Schizophrenia by Nathan Filer. I read um, The Shock of the Fall ages ago, um, which is about schizophrenia and he's talking in this book about his experiences um, as a mental health nurse and his experience on psychiatric wards. Um, Tom is very soon to be working in inpatient units um, to do his mental health nurse training, which is really exciting. Um, and I just thought I'd pick this one up and keep reading. I find it interesting and I thought it would be kind of cool to see more from a nurse's perspective of what they feel like and I just want to be able to support Tom as much as I can, so I thought this one would be helpful for me. A teeny tiny one that I picked up on the till is No One Is Too Small To Make A Difference by Greta Thunberg. Um, you probably know what this is or who she is. Um, again, it's like a teeny tiny book about climate change um, and I thought it was really cute and I have quite a few like tiny books that I really like. So I thought this would be a nice one just to pop in my bag probably for like a lunch break or something at work. And then the next one I got has such a beautiful colour um, and this one is Superior, The Return Of Race Science um, by Angela Sinani and this is talking about the history of um, scientists who have been doing work around race and all the problems there are with that so going from like eugenics to today um, and she's talking about how even today scientists have misguided racist notions um, when looking at this kind of thing and how it's kind of crept into society today um, i've seen this one on a few people's twitter but i haven't had any reviews of it yet but i just saw it in the bookshop today and i thought I'm really interested to read that one. And then the last one that I bought this month is Invisible Women um, by Caroline Criado Perez. For some reason I find that, that name really hard to read, like in this light. Um, but this is about data. I've seen Lauren in the books hauled this one a while back, I think. Um, this is basically talking about all the reasons um, that things are designed with kind of like men in mind and the, what the problems are. So things like um, on the cover it describes like the size of your phone, it's too big for your hand if you're a girl, and that seat belt, um, seat belts are tested with male crash test dummies and how they can actually hurt girls more than help them in a car accident. Yes, yeah, so I've been thinking about picking this one up for a while but I just hadn't got around to it and then I saw it today and I thought yes, today is the day. Um, so mostly non-fiction. Um, which is cool because I've had quite, I've got quite a few like thick fiction books on the go at the minute um, and I want non-fiction to balance them out. So yeah, you'll see soon what I think of these ones. Um, as I said in my last video, reading slow at the minute but that's fine, I've got a good mix of books to read, some really fat fictions and some interesting non-fictions for between. Yes, hopefully that was enjoyable, let me know if you're interested in any of these and I'll see you guys again soon in my next video. Bye!